Hello, Earth Signs. Welcome back to Meaningful Motivations with Tracy Erickson. And of course, if you are new to this channel, welcome. My name is Tracy Erickson, and this is the general tarot reading for Earth Signs for November 2024. So that just means if you are Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, then this is your general tarot reading. And it's for November 2024. So, of course, just take whatever parts of this reading that resonate with you. And it looks like your main theme for the month of November, Earth Signs, is the positive movement forward. And this is a very positive sign for you, Earth Signs. And as you can see, the number on this card is 8. And that is one of the most abundant numbers. But it's also a message of as above, so below. Let's see what else we have for you, Earth Signs. Over here, we have moving on next to partnerships and alliances. So, leading up to this point now in November, where we have positive movement forward, it looks like you are in the process of or have already moved on from a particular partnership or alliance in your life. So, this could be a relationship you've moved on from. It could be a friendship, a family member you've moved on from or moved away from. But this could also represent, since it's just partnerships and alliances, maybe you've moved on and started a new job. And this is what's giving you this positive movement forward, right? Let's see what else we have for you. All right, Earth Signs. On this side, we have victory and success next to rest and rejuvenate. All right, so I do see that while you're gonna, I feel like you're gonna just be moving in the right direction in the month of November for sure. We also have victory and success here. I feel like you might be able to, um, what I'm kind of seeing with this guy blowing his trumpet, right? Or blowing his horn on this uh, cliff. <laughs> And as you can see, it's almost like he's creating light with that horn. I do feel like your past experiences, um, your unique talents are being used in this positive movement forward. So I feel like this, uh, whatever it is you've moved away from and are now moving forward in a different direction, it's actually making you feel like it's more for you, if that makes sense. So that's why we have this victory and success. I just feel like you're going to be using more of your actual talent and your skills and experiences. Now, we also have the rest and rejuvenate here. Just as a reminder that as you're going, <clears throat> as you're going through this change and moving forward in positive new ways, it's going to be important for you to take the time to give yourself that rest and rejuvenation that you need. Take time away to unplug and to really recharge yourself through that act of unplugging. Sometime, you know, in the month of November, that is going to be very important. <clears throat> it's going to be very important for you, Earth Signs, as we move forward into this month. All right, Earth Signs, I'm going to shuffle the Rider Weight deck three times. Then I'll cut the deck and we'll take out four cards to clarify this message for all you Taurus, Virgos, and Capricorns out there. Okay, so we have the moon in reverse. This could be that some type of secret is being revealed or something that was hidden from you in the past is now um, not hidden anymore in some way, right? So some kind of secret being revealed or something that was once hidden is revealed. All right. And we also have the two of pentacles. Let's go ahead and just get the rest. We have the tower card reversed and the sun reversed as well. So I do feel like it is possible that what it is you're moving away from caused a little imbalance in your life, but it's better than what could have been, right? Because that is next to the tower. So it's almost like 
there was a little bit of an imbalance in your physical life, whether that is your job, your home life, or whatever. But this slight imbalance or choice that had to be made was really to avoid something even worse. Some kind of worse catastrophe could have actually taken place that really messed up your life. But I feel like, you know, even if it's not a choice that you made yourself, I do feel at this time that it was best for you in this movement forward. So even if it's not feeling positive right from the start, Earth signs, in the month of November, I do feel like it's going to come out as something positive. Uh, The sun and the moon are both reversed. So it's almost like what you thought made you happy maybe isn't. So this could be a moving on from something that you thought was making you happy, but the truth is it was holding you back in some way. So moving on from whatever that alliance is, is going to cause, you know, all of the the good stuff, the positive motion and the victory. But it's a matter of recognizing in yourself that sometimes what we think is not working out for us really is because you have the tower reversed. There was some kind of destruction that has been avoided, you know, at this time. Okay, Earth Signs, I'm going to go ahead and shuffle the Queen of the Moon Oracle. I'm just going to shuffle until a card falls out for advice for you, Earth Signs, for November 2024. Oops. Okay, so the one that fell out is creation. And this is the number 39. 9 plus 3 is 12. And 12 is 1 plus 2, which is 3. So it is all about creation. It's all about that creative spark inside of you. It is possible that whatever this positive movement forward is, it's connecting you more with your own idea of what it is you want to create in the world, right? So with this creation card being your advice, I think that this is just a reminder that even if it doesn't feel like it all the time, each and every choice that you make is creating the life that you are living. All right. So I do feel like with this creation card being in your advice, earth signs, It's going to be important for you to pay attention to the thoughts and actions that you are partaking in in the month of November because those thoughts and those actions are literally creating your life experience, okay? So I also get this vibe that like sometimes what we have planned, our best laid plans, just fall apart. But sometimes it's for the better, right? So I think that by the end of the month, that's going to make more sense to you. But in general, your advice for the month of November is to just, like I said, to stay vigilant when it comes to your own thoughts and actions and making sure that they're in alignment with this positive movement forward that you want to experience during the month of November. All right, Earth Signs, let's go ahead and shuffle the Wisdom of the Oracle. I'm going to shuffle this deck three times, cut the deck, and we'll draw three cards as a final message for you, Earth Signs, for November 2024. Okay, so first we have by the book. And this is also the number 11. So I do feel like within this positive movement forward, the uh, it's definitely a new direction. Because with the number 11, I always uh, see the number 11 kind of as a portal to a new beginning, right? So with this being on the by the book card, I just feel like right now is just going to be a time of learning the ropes following the leader, so to speak, um, and doing things really by the book, meaning following the directions and playing by all the rules, right? So for some of you, maybe you've moved on from a, a previous job and are now moving forward in something new. So the by the book card for you would represent this 
new training period that you're going in, right? But you can um, apply this wherever in your life. It doesn't have to be about a new job. Uh, But basically, it's almost like you've got this new set of rules that you want to follow uh, that you're learning about right now. We also got the fork in the road card. So there is a transformation taking place. And again, it's all about making the proper choices that feel right to you. Just in alignment with that creation card we were just talking about. So the fork in the road is all about making the correct choices to continue this motion forward. So again, keep your thoughts and actions in alignment with where you want to move towards and everything will work out better for you. And finally, the last card is clean it up. Look at this. This is the number 21. Two plus one is three, just like that creation card again. So I'm being brought back to that advice with this clean it up card. Look at this uh, moose or whatever this is. It's like dusting the air, cleaning the air, which are the thoughts. So this is all about keeping your thoughts in alignment with, uh, you know, with what you're creating because otherwise it's just creating this cloudiness around your vision, both your inner and outer vision. Your thoughts could literally make it a cloudy day or a sunny day, internally speaking. So what this card is saying is that it's up to you to keep the air clean, so to speak. By air clean, I mean your thoughts. So basically, Make sure that the choices that you make and the actions you take are in alignment with what it is you want to create rather than creating this like cloudiness that makes it very hard to see clearly. Okay, Earth Signs? So it's going to be up to you in the month of November to make the right choices and think the right thoughts and basically follow the rules (laughs) and then everything's going to work out splendidly for you. All right. But the more that you, uh, what do I want to say? Uh, the more that you avoid doing these things, you know, following the rules, making the right decisions and actions and making sure that your thoughts are in alignment with what you want rather than what you don't want. If you don't do these things, you're not going to be in the positive movement forward. So just maintain your choices, maintain what thoughts that you are going to let into your thinking space and basically do as you're told within the month of November and all things are going to look wonderful. We have the positive movement forward. We have victory and success and you're moving on into a place where you can truly take a deep breath and just relax. All right, Earth Signs, that is your message for November 2024. So if you like this video, don't forget to click the like button for me and leave a comment in the comment section down below if you want to tell me how this reading resonates with you this month. Thank you guys so much for watching and spending your time with me. I love you and I'll see you next time. Bye.